Hey guys, welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, this video is just going to be a review. We've come out with uh, our previous videos, kind of setting a foundational baseline for, you know, anybody that's uh, been invested in the market or looking to get involved in the market. Uh, and I felt it prudent to uh, do a do a recap. Um, I do not want to see folks getting a hold of certain videos, you know, midway through, you know, what's supposed to be a, a, a process, right? There's supposed to be a, um, you know, a, a good starting point for you to when you're starting to look in and, and research, you know, uh, investing and taking that critical first step in investing. And so what we're going to do is um, just just talk about some of the themes that uh, I've spoke about over my previous 10 videos. Um, and really the importance of, of watching those in chronological, chronological order um, so that you make sure that you, you, know, you get the important information right up front. Um, on the Independent Investor Channel, we talk, about, you know, we talk about stock investing, ETF investing, we talk about wealth building, um, but we talk about doing so in a, uh, in a responsible and calculated manner. Um, the niche on this program is that really nobody else online is talking about, you know, the where to invest. Um, everybody wants to talk about, you know, how to invest $1,000 or how to make $100,000 overnight. You know, what they don't tell you is the implications of those particular trades. What I mean by that is what they're not going to tell you is what type of tax situation they have met, may have entered into. Everybody wants to give you, you know, the, uh, the, the glitz and glamour of the trade, but they don't want to tell you you know, if you had done so in the wrong account, you're going to not only be paying excessive fees, uh, but also uh, you may be creating a taxable situation for you. All, um, you know, all resolvable if you just approach investing in a calculated way. And what I stress on my program so much is that, you know, those mistakes happen way too often when we're looking to get involved in the market. And, um, you know, I, I believe I've got the biggest secret in investing that financial institutions just don't want people to talk about. You know, and the essence and the theme of the Independent Investor Channel is to, is to bring some of those things to light and, and let people know what their options are. You may have went with uh, traditional investing themes for, you know, 20, 30 years. And this advice is, this information is applicable to you as well. Um, I had been going with traditional means my whole life. Um, in that I had a financial planner, I was involved with three different brokerage houses, and uh, you know, I, I, again, I, I stress that I learned a lot through that process um, until I, you know, reached a crossroads where um, I really became privy to the impacts of you know the fees that were being assessed over time, um, and and really start to observe the impacts of those fees uh, over time, and. Uh, you know what? Uh, you know our goal is to empower one investor at a time, and and what that really means is these are real world you know tactics that you can take and employ. You know by by watching through my chronicle of videos, you should be able to number one uh, determine that uh, determine the proper place to invest. Okay, number two is you can get get some information on potentially how to build that account um, to meet two specific goals, and that number one is tax shelter. Right, we talk about the self-managed Roth IRA throughout our videos, and we talk about the wealth preservation piece. Which, uh, again, you know, my niche and my delivery and my message is really meant to educate people up on, you know, what what wealth preservation means, um, you know, and what um, what the effect on you know accumulating fees means on those accounts going forward, uh, and maybe looking to get yourself into a vehicle that uh, could eliminate or, in fact. Um, reduce those fees altogether. Um, so, you know, uh, if you if you like the video, please uh, hit the thumbs up button uh, at the bottom. Um, I'm going to be coming out with multiple videos, getting more in depth. But certainly thought it was time probably to do a review and start to talk about some of the themes because I know I'm getting asked a lot. You know, um, some certain questions, and uh, you know, hopefully, you know, we want to take a calculated approach. Um, you know, I want to be a content-driven channel in that you can really watch in each particular video, you know, get some message or theme out of that video that you can take and, and, and employ in real-world life. Um, the success on this channel uh, is built uh, upon empowering one investor at a time 
Um, and that means that you know people are starting starting accounts and and they're starting you know with with no experience in the market and they're starting those accounts when the with the intention of doing exactly what we promote on this channel and that is getting the account started in the correct manner um, approaching the market in a, in a way that allows them to enter into the market in a in a safe and constructive manner um, and it allows you to tax protect and wealth build those dollars going forward and I tell you what every new account that started uh, every new person that looks or watches this video and feels empowered to do so you know that's one step in the right direction and um, you know a, a big theme that we talk about uh, on this particular show is self-managed uh, self-managed accounts and uh, you know I, I find it really interesting how many people just don't know okay that just don't know that those options are out there and therefore they, they end up kind of defaulting to traditional means that are available out there just by lack of you know just by lack of education or, or and, and uh, in knowing that those options are out there so I have just formulated a quick review uh, I encourage you to go back subscribe to the channel uh, go back watch the videos in chronological order that'll talk about you know uh, some of my themes a little more in depth you know the where to invest um, but again to kind of recap the most important message that we can possibly uh, push out there to folks you know anybody who's uh, part of my viewing audience now um, you know is to start in the correct place really that's the that's the number one overwhelming question that we get and again there's a reason for that okay um, you know everybody wants to give you about their top five picks online or you know what picks are working now or you know what penny stocks are the hottest stocks to buy and every single one of them you know I watch those just for entertainment and at the end of every single one of them I ask one singular question where and what account did they use to accumulate those gains within those accounts okay and it, it's really um, it's really an overlooked step and I contend that it is one of the most important steps um, that you'll ever take in your investment career okay so please enjoy the video please subscribe please share the video with anybody that you know is starting out and in investing uh, certainly I'm uh, I'm tailored to anybody you know that's uh, perhaps interested in the market or even folks that have been interested in the market or participating in the market for for quite some time okay so you know in review and recap you know um, choosing the correct account um, is in fact the most important step if you can choose the correct account and you can stay the course in that account for your investment career whether it be you know 20 30 40 50 even maybe 60 years for some of my 20 year old viewers out there that's the most important part if you can start in a vehicle and avoid you know flip-flopping or or changing brokerage houses or you know getting into the correct self-managed Roth vehicle and to allow those dollars to grow going forward could be one of the most important you know pieces of your of your inv investment decision and a lot of people just aren't aren't armed when they are making these decisions okay um, you can make a decision to you know start investing um, and usually it's by word of mouth or by what little bit of research that you do I've been investing in the market for you know most of my life um, and a lot of it, the advice that I give is is meant to really springboard you forward and really avoid any of those mistakes that potentially I've made certainly I have made in my investment career and get you guys started earlier because the earlier you can start to enter into these you know uh, tax protected and wealth preserved vehicles the better off you're going to be in the long term um, a, a lot of people know me I was a commercial fisherman in Alaska and and down in Southern California for quite some many years and one of the you know one of the themes and uh, lessons that I learned when I worked the ocean is that it's never flush you know we, we call it fishing not catching okay um, and and one of our one of our themes you know when we were in Alaska was to stick and stay and make it pay because you know fishing would humble you just like investing would humble you in that you know you you needed to be patient to see that that payoff later you know um, not every tide was the same and just like the market you know the market ebbs and flows okay it's not always gonna be good and it's not always gonna be bad okay 
but we look to tax preserve and get it in the correct vehicle so you can get the benefits of both scenarios um, as the market fluctuates up and down. Okay, so stick and stay, make it pay. That's one of my big themes and it can kind of help you drive your investment uh, you know, uh, perspective going forward and try to help keep some of the emotion out of investing whatsoever, okay? So the second thing, I did a video on take the correct steps and uh, you know, uh, for a lot of people, they're, they're probably not gonna watch a YouTube video um, and go out and start an account tomorrow. Um, could you? Absolutely, and I would uh, hope nothing more than the folks that are watching this on the ground floor um, and get in on the information that I'm putting out there. Um, this is legitimate information, guys. Um, this is a content-driven channel, and if you just take what I say and go and ground truth this for yourself, I think you know some of those validations or you know even hesitations about the source of the information that you're getting, you know online can be validated for yourself. Okay, um, but to take the steps, you know, to approach looking at investing, you know, the first thing a lot of people want to tell me is, well, I want to be a millionaire. Okay, well who doesn't all right but i will charge you with this very very few people are willing to take the first step to gain that first thousand dollars okay so we have a little bit of a you know we have a little bit of a problem most people in their mind i just want to be a millionaire i want to be a millionaire but they're not willing to take the proper steps to get to that first thousand dollars and you know, ironically, the younger that you start in your career and the willingness that you are to take those appropriate steps um, to starting uh, contributing to yourself and paying yourself first, as opposed to always looking into the dollars in and dollars out approach that a lot of people take. Um, you know, I break it all the way down to, to zero. If you had zero dollars to start with, um, you could be an investor if you could find, you know, 10, 25, 50 dollars out of your paycheck to start to pay yourself first, okay? So that just kind of gives an introduction on how to step into the market and, and to do it in a calculative uh, and careful manner. Again, I talk about all the information that's available online out there, and every single one of them wanna say, just take your $1,000 and invest it. Not only do they not tell you where, all right, but they, they don't tell you how to calculatively step that money into the, into the market. All right, which which lends yourself to taxable situations. It lends yourself to disappointment because you take a 20% downturn. Now you're down $200. Most people would take that and they'll never invest again. Okay, that is not the approach we take on this particular program. In my investment career, I haven't been helped at all. I've done it all myself. I've built up from zero. So quite frankly, when you when you when you when you build money in the manner that I've built it up, okay, and you built it up with, you know, some sort of appreciation for money, money is not something that just needs to be thrown out there like gambling, okay? Um, I have never lost, okay? Um, I have, um, you know, um, <clears throat> grown money, you know, in a responsible manner over the course of my lifetime. Now, have I bought stocks that have gone down? Certainly. Um, but there are certain tactics that you can employ to make sure that you're employing the right discipline in the stocks that you buy to be able to accept those downturns, okay? And to diversify the products to make those downturns more acceptable when they do in fact happen, okay? Um, the last thing in it is assigning the proper risk tolerance. Uh, and certainly this can be done between if you're a single investor or you have a spouse that's looking to invest with you. Um, that's just going to help you when we start talking about what pieces to add within this self-managed Roth IRA account for yourself, right? We've got the right account built. Now we're going to start building that account forward. Okay, so we have the account. We have the tax shelter over the top of the, of the account. We have the potential for wealth preservation going forward, okay? And now we need to start contributing and getting those dollars building. And dollar for dollar, uh, you're going to find that as those accounts grow over time, you're going to end up realizing more of those investment dollars back for you, okay? 
here on the Independent Investor Channel, again, we, we look to empower one investor at a time, and we do that with a content-driven approach, and we're really looking to speak to people, okay? Uh, a lot of people that I talk to, you know, even when you mention the, the concept of investing, you know, they perk up and they're excited. They really are. Um, and they say, well, I'm going to do it, and they're excited, and, and then the next time I see them, I talk to them, and, you know, the excitement is kind of, you know, kind of... Uh, you know, went down a little bit. And, um, you know, I, I think a lot of, you know, what independent investing does for you is uh, it certainly empowers yourself to, you know, validate why it is, you know, we invest. And if you can be steadfast in your approach and you can be honest with yourself about what you'd like to achieve in the future, um, certainly the, the, the place where you end up putting your money is one of the most important decisions that you can you can possibly make. And um, just in closing, you know, finally, we just try to offer some some ideas for you guys, you know, um, but we take a foundational approach to investing. We want to make sure that we have the pieces in place first to be built upon. And that way we have a nice, solid foundation. Um, and that way I can I can feel rest assured that the information that I'm trying to portray to you guys, um, if any one of my viewers take and, and they put um, any of the information in motion, I have to be rest assured that each and every one of those viewers or subscribers are applying the correct techniques to make sure that the proper wealth preservation is going is going on going forward okay so um, I can't stress enough how important the responsibility uh, is uh, for yourself to look into this information uh, uh, certainly no one investment um, you know account is the same the way we build these accounts are unique in nature and just hopefully some of the um, you know the general themes that we offer on this show can kind of offer you know some sort of some sort of easy way to break down financial uh, information so you, know, you you feel empowered to take those next steps and start up those accounts for yourself. Uh, listen, if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button at the bottom. Please share the video with anybody uh, that you know might uh, want to benefit from the information that we're offering here. Uh, we are a content-driven channel, so we will be coming out with uh, you know, a series of videos going forward on, on starting to build those accounts forward. Uh, please subscribe to the channel so you're notified of any new videos coming online. And I look forward to seeing you uh, shortly in our future. Good luck in your in investment career. Thank you so much.